And finally this evening, a voice from Russia. A few days ago, I returned from the Soviet Union where I spent two weeks talking to people, listening to what may be changing there under the leadership of Mikhail Gorbachev. And one of the most interesting and insightful Russians I met is a rock singer. His name is Boris Grebenshikov. He's a big name in the Soviet Union, a singer who weighs his words carefully. The song is American. The singer, Russian. The theme, universal. Boris Grebenshikov sang with Stephen Stills and Graham Nash. A rehearsal for a concert in Moscow. Grebenshikov is the Mick Jagger of the Soviet Union, even if his style is more lyrical. In a cafe, we sat and talked about what's happening in his country. I hope that it's changing, and everybody hopes that it is changing. And we place all our hopes on Gorbachev, because if things will really start changing, then we'll see much better times than before. I asked Boris what young people who listen to his music are concerned about. I think there's the same problems everywhere. When you're 17 years old, you have your own list of problems, and they all are the same. Only you name them with different names. For example? Vietnam, Afghanistan, it can be any war. Everybody wants to be against something, against grown-ups, against the system. That's okay, and I think that uh, Gorbachev understands this. Are there any subjects the rock singers cannot sing about? Yes, sure. What? Uh, sex is taboo. Uh, politics is taboo. What about Afghanistan and the war there? If you praise uh, the situation from a Soviet side, then it always was okay. Boris Grebenshikov is an interesting person to spend time with because he doesn't separate Soviet popular culture, his music, from the deeper roots of Russian culture. He says that Soviet rock is a cross between the Rolling Stones and Dostoevsky. And what's the Dostoevsky part? It's the seeker of God. When a person tries to find his or her own solutions, in his own soul, to find peace in his own soul. You have never left the Soviet Union. There's a possibility you'll be going to the United States later this year. I would say hope and interest from my side. I don't know about possibility. What would you want to see and do there if you can go, if you do come to America? On a brief the air, I want to meet a lot of people to whom I listened all my life. When I was a young man, I had a lot of heroes. And I want to meet them all and compare attitudes, because I think that everybody's coming to the same point. In music. In life. That point can be heard in the song Boris Grebenshikov sang with Stills and Nash. <laughs> Nuclear Madness. And we'll have a full series of reports on what is happening in the Soviet Union under Gorbachev this week on NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. I'm Garrett Utley, and that's our Sunday report. Good night.